Okay, Caleb here from Cell Phone Intelligence, and this time got another teardown, and it is going to be the Samsung Focus. So for this teardown, all you will need is your uh, case opener tool, uh, pry tool, whatever, a and a Phillips uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and uh, that should do it for you. Um, recommended, uh, maybe a magnifying glass, uh, magnet always, uh, but on that uh, should be really all you need. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let's get started. So obviously, uh, as per the norm, I guess, uh, start to remove the back plate. And you're gonna want to uh, remove the battery as well as a uh, SIM card and micro SD card uh, if uh, they happen to be present. Uh, if not, obviously don't worry about it. And then we'll start off by uh, removing the uh, seven outer screws. Uh, don't forget the seventh one there. And then once uh, these are out of the way, we can uh, go ahead and uh, move right along. So, uh, seeing as how this is one of the more riveting moments, uh, I'll uh, use this time just to uh, throw out that old disclaimer. Uh, you know, it shouldn't have to be said, but uh, if, uh, if you do happen to follow this uh, guide, it is for instructional purposes only. And if you do happen to uh, wreck uh, your phone, someone else's phone, any phone, uh, as a result of following these steps, then uh, I take no responsibility for that. Uh, unfortunately, you're on your own. So that being said, uh, just uh, you know, like let's you know, just be smart. Uh, you know, uh, you know, use you know, use your head, and uh, don't uh, you know, operate within uh, you know the confines of your abilities. Really, all. Uh, all that can be said for all for all of that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so once you got those screws, uh, once you got all those screws done, next uh, we're going to, uh, I guess, rem uh, remove the uh, inner casing. Not sure exactly what you're going to call it here, but uh, basically, what uh, what we're going to be doing is you can see, kind of see here, see the silver lining here. We're going to be going in between there, and then in between here on the outside so uh, I suggest starting at um, I don't know one of the ends and there's just uh, be popping some clips so uh, once the once you get the clips you'll definitely uh, feel it Let's see there's one there and then you can see starting to separate in between the silver lining here and the black lining yeah, I can hear it pop on that one. So just uh, work your way around. Um, you know, some kind of uh, you know, case opener tool is probably recommended. Uh, maybe a razor blade. I'm just using a uh, you know fl our, uh, flathead screwdriver here. Um, you know, if you want to be uh, if you're going to be reckless like myself, um, just you know always be aware uh, of not leaving tool marks uh, all over uh, all over this bad boy. Oh yeah, it's coming right along. And uh, don't worry about uh, the volume buttons, power buttons, or anything like that. If they uh, happen to uh, fall out of place, uh, don't worry. You know, we'll uh, we'll take care of those things. We'll take care of them later. doesn't want to go because we forgot the seventh screw. That was close. Whew. Wow, what a great instructional video this one is, eh? Already busting it up. Okay. 
All right, so once you get all those clips and all the screws, uh, the uh, that back plate will come right off there. And then we are getting right into uh, whoops into the guts here. So uh, there's going to be several clips uh, you're going to want to make sure you detach. Uh, one of them being here. And make sure you just pop that guy up there. Whoop. And then right beside it with the, uh, the 1, 2, 15, 16. Whoop. Pop that one. And whoop. remove the volume rocker. Okay, and uh, the uh, camera module, or sorry, the, uh, I've got another flipper here for the um, headphone jack. I want to pop that one. And then the camera one here, you can, um, you know, pop or not pop, really up to you. And then don't forget this uh, coaxial cable down here. Let's see if we can, uh, whoop. Get maybe a little bit of zoom. So, so I'll pop that out of the way there. And then as well, uh, the volume uh, volume rocker button here on the side is uh, just uh, using uh, is uh, glued in there with a little adhesive. So you're just going to want to pry that up uh, very gently because you don't want to wreck it, and you will want to reapply it afterwards. So keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> and you just get right underneath there. Okay. Oop. Now, uh, now as well, we got uh, one more little guy. We got a go clip here. I'll try and zoom in here. You see, it's this guy here. And now you don't lift the brown part, but you lift the black part. And that pops up. And then you can uh, pull out the uh, speaker module. So, just whoop. So, speaker module out. And then next. Yeah, make sure we got all the clips popped here. Um, what we want to do is before we try and pull uh, this board, our main board out here, um, make sure you get uh, the vibrate module, which, whoop, right, zoom out here. Uh, get a, underneath the vibrate module there because it is, uh, it user is uh, glued in with some adhesive. So I'm going to pry that up first. Okay, and then once that guy's loose, then we can go ahead and voila. Just lift the sucker out. Bam. <clears throat> okay. And so we can, you know, from here, you know, we can, uh, you know, remove the camera, change the camera. Uh, micro you know, SD tweaks, you know, there we got the Qualcomm processor. Oh, sorry, there we got the Qualcomm processor. Uh, USB port, uh, and then you can as well remove the uh, headphone jack, and there is one screw there, so don't forget about that uh, if you want to remove that guy. And then basically, this is where I'm going to stop um, because <coughs> basically, your next step. Uh, would be for say uh, LCD replacement or digitizer replacement. Uh, you know, pop that coaxial down there at the bottom, pop that clip up, and then flip it over, and uh, hit it with the heat. And you'll want to you know, hit that with the hair dryer, heat gun, whatever, to loosen all the glue off there. And then once that gets nice and hot, you can uh, you can uh, or uh, separate the uh, separate the LCD from the digitizer or uh, the uh, LCD and the digitizer there and replace either of those pieces if need be. And so yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Uh, not too uh, not too much for this phone here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back so together. Start off uh, 
just in the reverse there, put the uh, main board back in. Wing. And don't forget about uh, all the clips underneath there. So that way uh, you don't uh, you don't want to cover any of them up by accident. And then try and force this thing down. Uh, that would not uh, work out so how, so well. Uh, don't forget about the volume rocker. Get the volume buttons back in place, and you can go ahead and place your clips there. But, uh, one, two, three, and don't forget uh, the coaxial cable, because without him, uh, you'll get no signal <laughs> when trying to make a call. Oh yeah, perfect. Let's try and make sure you get him back in his little trench here. push down the vibrate module there, get that glue adhesive there, and then don't forget about uh, your uh, speaker module. Remember, black side up. Okay, and that, uh, yeah, that pretty much does her there. So we'll uh, go ahead and, oh, don't forget about uh, when you're putting your, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I guess putting your shell back in here. Don't forget about the volume, your volume buttons. And another one is a slider up there for uh, the USB port. And all right, so I've got all my buttons. It appears I do. And that'll just snap right back into place. Or in theory, should just snap right back into place as it was earlier. Yeah. And yeah, you hear all those clips going. Yep, not too shabby. And then just check around the, the edges here to make sure that uh, that's, uh, everything's in place. Ooh. All right, and it appears they are. And then just go ahead and replace uh, your seven outer screws, and uh, you can call it a job done. Okay, so we're finishing up here. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Uh, I hope this video has been uh, helpful in uh, some way, shape, or form for you. Uh, whatever kind of uh, repairs, hobby, and you're doing, uh, don't forget to uh, check out the uh, YouTube channel, and that is uh, YouTube.com/user/cellphoneintel with one L. And uh, that'll get you to uh, all my other videos, um, good, good stuff like that. Uh, I got tons out there, you know, uh, tutorials, um, how to use, uh, how to use uh, different elements in your phones, um, a whole bunch of different teardowns of uh, all kinds of different phones, uh, Android phones, Windows phones, uh, uh, iPhone, all that good stuff. So check it out. Um, hit the subscribe button. You know, I really do appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave your comments uh, as well. I always like to get uh, your uh, get feedback and uh, see what uh, people are liking, what they aren't liking. So, oh, almost finished here.
Okay. And don't forget to go around and make sure all your screws are tight, but not too tight. And and uh, this is a job well done. And then go ahead and replace your uh, battery and uh, micro SD card. And SIM card. Uh, and okay and the final test oh we have life so uh, once again thank you so much for watching and uh, this has been your cell phone intelligence so until next time